Hello everybody, this is Blade Cross EXE, and welcome back to Fate Grand Order's Garden of Sinners event. Alright, last episode, I'm pretty sure we solved the story, we killed that giant ghost thing, and now uh, I'm just going through the apartments, uh, just cleaning them out, and I left uh, a few open, haven't gone in them yet, because I don't know if there's any more story related to the to anything above floor 5, so we're going to go through floor 6 one by one, and we're going to see if there is anything worth looking at. Uh, okay. Sabres, archers, and lancers. So... Gotta take a Tesla with me. Sixth floor, room number three. Okay, no story here. Smack you with a center bag. Ha. I don't understand why Tesla is an archer class. I understand he uses mostly range attacks, but you think that he would be a caster class considering he's using electricity. I understand it's science and not magic, but still, it's kind of weird. Not to mention, it made him a pain in the butt during London and during Saber Wars. Okay, two out of three noble phantasms are charged. Good. A lot of skeletons in this room. Let's see if we can take out at least two of them. Ah, not quite. Dang! These things are just getting stronger and stronger. I'm used, so used to being able to one-shot most of these guys if I have their weakness, but not right now. Alright, just one more, and then we get to move on to the final area. And I can just unload all three Noble Phantasms at once. Ah, oh, Mordred! Mutineer. Ain't seen you in a while, Mordred. How you been? I mean, I know I have you, and I know... I've used you as an assist before, but I haven't actually fought against you in a while. Well, uh, hope you're ready for this. Um, ignore Invincible and Critical Stars just for the heck of it. So, let's go... Uh, hmm. Yeah. Uh, I just wasted my other two Mana Bursts. Okay. Well, in that case, let's go Big Electric Blast and these two. I'll use the other two Noble Phantasms next. I forgot there's going to be two waves of enemies.
just big giant electric laser of death. I love how Mordred just hauls off and Sparta kicks whoever's right in front of her. Makes me laugh. All right, now. This should be enough to knock everybody else out. Boom! Right in the non-existent nuts for those skeletons. Yep, <laughs> everything's dead. Wow, Mortar survived! <laughs> She's a tough cookie. Alright, let's see you survive this. Come on, Nicola. There we go. Put up a good fight, Mordred, but, uh, yeah. <laughs> Alright, almost unlocked room 503, because I just need to defeat three more skeletons. A lot of quests. Got a lot of balls of water from that, too. Another one of those. Alright, let's move on to room 602. Assassins. Okay. In that case, we're gonna bring Waver. Yeah, let's go the first one. Dang it, I meant to switch out Santa for Mysterious X. Oh well. Ooh. Weird looking automatas. Base models. Okay, well, let's, uh, let's have at it then. Truth be told, I was expecting ghosts. Resisted, but still enough to knock him out. Alright. More of these guys. Wait, how did I get through his evade? Is it an ability waiver has, or is it a craft essence? Ah, <laughs> monster, Carmilla. All right, I can dig it. All 
right. I'm using Excalibur Morgan first, because probably won't do as much damage to assassins. Caliburn will definitely finish off at least the two Automatas. This is still one of my favorite things in all of Fate, just jingle bells while shooting a giant laser out of a sword. I do kind of wish that I could get a regular Santa Saber. I think that'd be just amazing and adorable. It's still hilarious, though. Santa Altar was actually my first uh, incarnation of Arturia that I ever unlocked. My second was Saber Altar herself. Third was Lily, and then Mysterious Hero and X. Ow! Uh, can we do it, Waver? Can we do it? Let's find out. Increase critical stars for everybody. Yeah, we got this. End of the line, Carmilla. Holy Sword, Dark Holy Sword, and that's it! <laughs> what do Automatas drop again? Automatas drop ice cream, okay. Yes, you gotta beat up this mannequin-looking machine and get ice cream from it. I need more black cats. All right, now for room 601. Berserkers, ooh. Hmm, that means we're probably fighting nothing but zombies and then a berserker servant. Um, let's keep at it then. Uh, some more grinding I am gonna have to do off screen is gonna be with uh, Shiki, uh, because I need to get her bond level up. Oh, another cutscene. Okay, there is more story to be had here. Excuse the intrusion. Although we resolved this incident, there's still... There seems there are still some servants trapped inside the building. So we continued our search and rescue efforts, but... But... It's either Frankenstein or Tomamo Cat. Electricity? Frankie, yep. <laughs> That's too bright! Too bright and too intense! I don't know what you're so excited about, but but try to calm down just a little, friend. Oh, Lu Bu. Hey. What? Even General Lu? Doctor, translate. Huh? I I I can I can do something like that. Doctor, I I can give it a try. Tesla. The same Tesla that recently joined Chaldea. Uh -huh. Um. Huh? Uh... Invigorating! Absolutely invigorating! And most comfortable, reading a book under the gleam of electric light. How dazzling! My unstoppable intelligence is essentially skyrocketing at an electrifying rate! All because of electricity! What? You didn't get that? I mentioned eels because, well, they're godlike fish who can generate electricity. Well, never mind. In any case, let's try increasing the brightness even further. This is all 500 watts can produce. How would it be if we double that? It's evident that my intelligence will likely reach divine levels, and soon I won't have to read anymore. Ha 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 ha. Now then, allow me to show you. System Karonos! Okay, Mr. Human Taser. Hmm. Power outage. Well, that's problematic. But really, what a genius I am. I can learn a lesson even from a situation like this. That lesson being, it's important to conserve electricity. Uh -huh. No! She's angry Tesla... F she's angry that Tesla uses up all the electricity. She says she's also decided to start wasting electricity. Ah, uh, I see. Ah! Uh -huh. Too bright! 
Boo Boo says, um, I lent her a hand because she looks like my daughter. Oh, I guess he's not actually angry. Oh, oh, okay, now he's angry. What? There's no parent that wouldn't get angry watching their daughter cry, is what he said. Sorry. I see. So the complaints we've been getting lately ordering us to do something about the frequent power outages is due to this. Shiki, what, what are you looking at? Is that a notepad? In any case, let's take care of this. We'll talk afterward. Ah! Okay. Well then. Freaking Tesla. I still can't decide if I actually like Tesla or not. It's like, whoa, Lupu looks amazing. Like, Tesla's cool and all, but he's just a pain in the butt. And, like I said, he really gave me some trouble in the past. Alright, um... Increase everyone's noble phantasm game. Fran's got more HP, so let's take her out first. Ow. may be a little bit more difficult than I thought. Let's go ahead and increase everyone's noble phantasm gauge. But this is why Waver is one of my favorite casters, even though I don't have him yet. It's because he can do things like this. Like, I don't have many casters in my reserves. I think I have a total of, like, four, maybe five. And Waver is my favorite to use. He and Tamamo are two of the best that, I, that I've seen thus far. Waver because he's great for offense, and Tamamo is great for defense. Overall, I prefer Waver, though, just because I prefer to play a more off offensive style. I like just crushing everything with sheer power. Alright, two Noble Phantasms charged and ready to go. Ow. Alright. I probably should have used the unreturning formation first. Fran's most likely not going to survive. Lu Bu may or may not. I'm not sure yet. Okay, there goes Fran. Yeah, Lu Bu barely hanging on there. I think I should be able to get him, get him this next turn. Just bluster him to death. Boom! You explode. <laughs> All right. Defeat forty male servants. Defeat forty female servants. Defeat fourteen berserkers. Defeat thirty evil servants. All the rooms on the sixth floor. And every room below the seventh floor. <sighs> Don't worry, friend. We'll give Tesla an earful later. Uh, we should have an electricity conservation day in Chaldea. We should give Professor a Taser his present. Hmm. No, if you give him a Taser, then that means that he will use it against y'all and amp up its power. Let's have the electric conservation day. Oh, Fred's happy now. And just like that, she's mellowed out again. This apartment actually looks pretty nice, though. Huh, the room is finally dark again. My eyes are seeing stars from all that light. But are they critical stars, though? This may be a little sudden, but can I say something? Sure, Doctor. What's the matter? Hold on, wait. Fran is... 
She's saying, in order to conserve electricity, I'm unplugging any piece of equipment on, with of unknown function that I could find. Ah, whoa, wait a second! Please don't pull the plug on that on that one. At least let me shut it down properly. Ah, uh, and he's gone. <laughs> Whoops! It was unfortunate, wasn't it? By the way, Shiki, what was that memo from earlier? Oh, this this is the request I got. It says, please resolve the cause of the power outages. So, all right, that takes care of that one. Next up is, please evict the bad tenant who refuses to pay rent. Um, I hope I'm guessing wrong, but these are possibly complaints from all the neighbors here? Oh, didn't I mention that? Based on the information I have, the complaints requesting the removal of servants who are living in this apartment building illegally. That's why I've been chasing out servants. Here, look. This building is now owned by the Ryogi family, see? Shiki, you're a landlord? And this is basically... Yes, I came here on behalf of my family to collect everyone's rent. In that case, let's switch gears from here on out, Mash. Gabriel. Uh, I understand. Now that you mention it, you do dress like a landlord. Uh huh, Shiki? <laughs> Alright. There we go. Cleared that room. And this is already dragged on a bit, but we are gonna knock out room 502 before we end the episode off. Berserkers and Assassins. Let's carry... Let's take another waiver with us. Sorry I don't really have much diversity in my party. I just go with who I either need at the time or who I know will get the job done. I am trying to build up the bond rate between a lot of other servants. And uh, I'm gonna have to grind off screen on the normal quest to get Shiki's bond up to where it needs to be to accomplish the entire mission list. Ghosts. Ah, it's adult waiver. Uh, I still prefer I still prefer kid waiver though. It, well, not technically kid, but you know what I mean. Young waiver. I do like seeing waiver all grown up though. Just I can't wait until Bro Skandar is available for for summoning. Cause if I can get both of them on the same team together, then I'll like never put anybody else on my team. Okay, a bit of an exaggeration, but you know. They're, they're my favorite characters in Fate Zero. You can't really fault me for that. They're they're so hilarious. They bounce off each other so well. And Bro Skandar is... Well, he's Bro Skandar. You just... You gotta love him. If you would stop draining my Noble Phantasm gauge, that'd be great. Get those nails trimmed while you're at it. It's a little late for Halloween. Okay, uh... Let's go Zap slash Zap. There we go. Let's kill that one in the back first. Okay, I will I will give grown up waiver this. Instead of just waving his hand like young waiver does, I love how he snaps his fingers and they explode. To me, that, that's one of the coolest things. Just snap your finger, instantly you explode. Wave a fan, you get rocks dropped on you. And I shoot lasers out of yin-yang symbols. Because I'm Sir El Malloy II. when they just deplete my Noble Phantasm like that. Anyways, the uh, Excel order, or the Excel Zero order missions, whenever those come about, I will definitely jump on those. I'll try to be a bit more quick getting those out than I was with this one. Just because I am really looking forward to that because I really want to get a Skandar. And stop lowering my Noble Phantasm gate! 
Okay. Is that for you? Big sword slash and gonna drop rocks on you. There we go. There we go. Oh, he survived. Dead gummit. Really starting to get on my nerves. Okay. But yeah, so when the Fate Zero event comes around, I'm really going to be playing that a lot because I really want to unlock uh, Iskandar, uh, Assassin Emya, what a Vlad, Shapeshifter, and uh, I heard tell that Angra Manu is going to be added to the friend, uh, friend point summoning pool, so I want to be getting him as soon as I can. I don't think I'll quite kill Vlad off with this, but I'm at least going to make a try. Nah, it's still alive. Okay. Alright. If I can just get another Noble Phantasm out, there should be enough to finish everybody. Oh, very dead. Very dead. <laughs> Completely dead. Uh, I may not even need a Noble Phantasm for this one. Uh, what the heck. Actually, wait, uh, there we go. Just in case. I don't think that the other one will survive the Excalibur Morgan, but just in case he does. That is one thing I don't like about this game, how you keep attacking the same target. It does come in handy sometimes if you're just wanting to build up a Noble Phantasm gauge and save for the next round, but... It does get annoying when you're trying to kill multiple enemies at once. Defeat 40 male servants. Defeat 15 berserker classes. Good. Defeat 30 evil servants. All rooms on the 5th floor. Uh, all rooms below the 7th floor. Any room on the 5th floor 10 times. And 60 missions. Oh, I just gotta unlock two more. And, uh... Alright. Okay. Let's uh, check out this reward, then we'll call this episode quits. Yes. Defeat 25 Berserker class servants. Still gonna take a little bit on that one. Alright, well, uh, so the story's continuing just a little bit. It's mostly just side quests now. But, uh, yeah, we'll be back with more of this after I grind a little bit and unlock the last two rooms on these floors. This has been Blade Cross EXE, part of Flashing Blades Productions. Thank you so much for watching and tune in next time. Peace out.